Hi parents, this is a video for you from Ms. Haley. Um, it has some information about how to help your children with their fine motor skills. Some of your kids may already be quite comfortable using a crayon and can write their names and draw pictures and they're feeling pretty good about it. Other kids are still learning, so this video is more for the beginners, okay? We teach uh, crayon grip and three easy steps for kids. The first step is to pick it up. And we use these small crayons like this this is just a regular crayon that I snapped in half, but we use the little tiny crayons at school um, because it helps, A, develop their fine motor, their muscles in their hand, but it also helps them use the correct grasp. If the crayon's really big, they might try to grip it in their fists like this or hold it upside down or invert it in some sense, okay? So we use the small crayon and we tell them to pick it up, okay? Um, and then hold it in the air like this. We use their thumb and their pointer finger, which is bent to the tip, tall man, which is what we call the middle finger, uses its side, and then the last two fingers get tucked in to go for a ride. So this is the correct grasp, and this is what we teach the kids when we're using our crayons, okay? And we can use the song, crayon song, to teach them that, about picking it up, using their pointer finger and their thumb with tall man on his side, or her side, and then their two little fingers tucked in to go for a ride, okay? This page here is called Aim and Scribble. This is the second step that we use when teaching kids to use crayons. Their helping hand, their left hand in my case, since I'm right-handed, is flat on the paper, and their other hand rests on the paper. It's not up in the air floating around. It rests on the paper, and then they use their fingers to do back and forth scribble motions to make the stars shine. Little scribble, little scribble, little scribble, little scribble. We can do the fireflies too. Little scribble, little scribble, little scribble. So the messages that we're reiterating to the kids are that the hand's resting on the table, the fingers are wiggling back and forth, and their helping hand is resting on the paper, okay? We can do that again with the fireworks page. Okay, this is another page that can help the kids practice aiming and scribbling. Aim and scribble, aim and scribble. So in this case, it has the ant, the bug, and the bee. It has the different colors, and you can sing the little song with them, um, which I'll include in a separate video as they color them. This page works on having lines go up, lines go down, and curly lines, okay? Now these pages, let me find one that hasn't been totally colored all over. Um, this is the third step when we're teaching children to use crayons, okay? Um, and so this is when you get to pick up the crayon and you're using those same little scribbling skills but you're starting to expand on them and the kids learn that you use different strokes depending on what shape you're using. So for example, when I get to this page, the first thing I do is show them, look, here's the crayon at the top. Touch the crayon at the top. What color is it? It says yellow. So we're identifying that there's a word and a picture together. Then we use our back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, scribbles to color the crayon yellow, okay? Next, touch the lemon. Put your finger on the lemon. A lemon's a type of fruit. It's kind of an oval shape. So then we can use the crayon to do round and round and round coloring, right? Then I might go down here and say, look, here's an oval shape. Use the same type of stroke to fill in our oval. Up here, look, it's a slice of cheese. What shape is it? It's a square, just like the square below. And then for this one, we might do up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, back and forth coloring like that. Okay, now do the square. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Great job. Okay, and then you could point out the banana and color that and talk about how it's the same shape as a crescent. And this format um, you would use for all of the different pages, yellow, green, red, blue, okay? And then later in this book, which your kids will have, um, we talk about lines going down and they can practice adding bird legs. And then we get into the letters, okay? And so when you get to the letter page, it talks about the shape, big line down, little line across to make the letter L. And then it has the wood pieces on the blue map that we use in school. And it has the chalk on the little chalkboard that we use in school called wet, dry, try. Then we talk about the picture. Look, it's a lizard. Lizard starts with L. 
and they color this, and we usually color this first to kind of get their muscles warmed up. And then we aim for the smiley face helper that tells us where we start our letter. And we do big line down, little line across, big line down, little line across. Oh, my crayon broke. And I always like to use this as a lesson for the kids when my crayon breaks to tell them that it's just a small problem, no big deal. I don't need to cry because sometimes that can be a, a heartbreak for kids. Aim for the smiley face helper, big line down, little line across. Aim for the smiley face helper, big line down, little line across. Great job. Okay. All right. Hope this was a helpful tutorial for using our handwriting book. Bye-bye.